Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. So, you can see I got a big shaky rocket and it's time to take off. Go, go, go! Yeah, so, we are launching our satellite that I created. Uh, and I kind of, I like doing the design portion episode and then like the launch portion of the episode. I, I kind of feel that, you know, it gives you guys more of a feel on how to go about designing some of these things and understanding what's in work when it comes down to me building some of these crazy contra contraptions that I make. Uh, yeah, so, you know, this is the new rocket design that I created. Um, I created it way before I made that episode, but I felt that I needed to tell you guys that I changed it and, you know, I made it a little bit better, I guess. You know, for some of you might say it's worse, some might say it's better. Aesthetically, I think it's worse, but as far as functionality, it's better, so that's what really matters. So, uh, you know, maybe when they add air to this game, and well, I guess not air, but the um, the drag, like when it actually takes effect to the uh, ship and everything else, um, and the wind resistance, then, um, you know, maybe the nose cones and all that stuff will actually help you instead of hindering you. So, yeah, let, I'm getting this thing, I, I think, I don't really know where I want to go with this satellite right now. Um, I'm thinking either putting it in like a really high orbit or um, sending it out to hang out with his friends over at Jewel or Elu or something crazy. I don't know. I just don't know, guys. Um... The more I build these rockets, and the more I build these, like, this is kind of like my first satellite, so, you know, I kind of just slapped every little thing I could possibly find that has anything to do with satellite stuff on to the ship, because I was just kind of like, yeah, we need a satellite with all kinds of cool stuffs on it. Um, maybe I'll send it out to Elu. There is a possibility there. I don't know if I just said that, but, yeah. You know, one thing a lot of you guys might notice too is like I don't really have like a script when I write my sh my um uh, or I mean when I do my uh, episodes I don't have like anything really scripted to say. Sometimes I'll just make like a notable mention. You know, I'll, I'll just kind of put it in the back of my head and, and try to make sure I remember at the end of the episode to say, oh yeah, this guy he's a cool guy, check him out or whatever. But um, yeah, most of the time I don't really write anything, uh, yeah, I just kind of go with the flow, and, you know, uh, so far it hasn't really gotten me into trouble, so that's always a good thing. Because getting into trouble is not a very good thing, except for, I don't know, certain times when it's okay to get into trouble. Yeah, whatever. Um, now... Let's get this thing into orbit. Now, I changed the way I, I set up my orbits, too. Which, I basically do a burn until I get about halfway. And then, afterwards, I get somewhere, you know, I get around the aproapsis. You know, stop. What's, because this is a really big rocket. It's the mainsail. It's the huge, the huge engine. Um, and then I, I kind of wait until I get around here, and then I do the rest of my burn. And so far, like, the, uh, orbits that it sets up afterwards are pretty good. It's not, like, a bad orbit. Uh, you know, like, it's, for the most part, it's, like, a very stable, very, you know, the orbit doesn't really change much. It's almost the same exact height on the other side. It's somewhere, you know, it's always, it always works out really well. As long as I do enough corrections to it later, like early on, but yeah, that, that, I mean, to me, that's not a bad orbit. That's actually a really good orbit to be set up in because the amount of correction that you need to do isn't very, very high. It's almost the same. The only difference is a few thousand or, you know, a few hundred kilometers or what, like 15 kilometers, 20 kilometers? Yeah, 
something like that whatever so um let's get on to this solar system because being here isn't fun people complain too much everyone cries besides the punch of this party wasn't even good anyways they bring punch and pie punch and pie now I want to use the moon as like a slingshot to get myself out of the system because I don't like the people here so I'm gonna put a lot of force on that and that should be an escape I don't know what happened before but I tried to do the exact same thing and uh, it wasn't liking that idea it was like uh, no you don't do that maybe if I get closer to the moon too it will increase yeah it probably will so you know if anything once I set it up I'll do like a really big burn too because I do have a lot of fuel that I don't really need so ooh and I left yeah I probably burned away a lot of RCS fuel yep once again kids never leave the uh, SAS and the RCS on at the same time never good things never good outcomes well let's get this burn going come on I guess I'm not pointing in the right direction in any way yeah I think I should have went that way I don't know what I was thinking I was thinking do an orbital correction that's what I think I was doing because I'm so used to launching stuff into orbit now and then just having to instantly correct the orbit and then correct everything and then uh, get into docking mode so it should be somewhere down here or someplace I don't even know I'm burning so much RCS fuel for no reason okay now I think I should be in a better situation here but, you know, once again, guys, I have to thank you, you guys, for the uh, comments and the likes and all the views and everything else. And it, it, without you guys, I wouldn't be making any more videos. Like, if people stopped watching my channel tomorrow, I probably wouldn't make any more videos after a while. You know, I probably would make another 10, and then once I saw that I was getting no views, I probably would just give up. Uh, a lot of you guys have helped me just want to make videos because you know I probably wouldn't have made as many videos as I made so far if it wasn't for you guys so you know anytime you guys recommend me doing something too I don't really mind having to do that like you know somebody I I'm making the satellite because somebody basically suggested I make a satellite and uh, yeah so I, I you know I didn't really have any plans for any satellites in in the you know in my future at, at one point so you don't get to try something new oh god trying something new is always fun and you know if I'm getting this thing to Elu that'd be amazing I don't really know where I'll go but I'm sure it'll go somewhere why is it acting all funky it's like jamming Oh, one thing I added too was I put all these on like basically a quick key, so save me some time. It's getting like perfect right now. That's amazing. Not to mention these ones are all perfect too. Oh, almost overshot. I get in these tangents and talking to you guys and basically almost break all the things wow pass by the moon it's always cool looking at the moon when you're passing by it especially when you set it up like on the burn and then you you do the time warp and then you watch the moon just kinda fly by it's always amazing what is this so the curb and escape yeah, we want to get away from Kerbin. Don't like it here. Everyone complains too much. Bunch of crybabies. So, yeah. 
Let's get this E loop burn set up. At least uh, let's get the inclination correct. So, hmm. How are we going to do this? This is a very big undertaking. Um, be six. We need it to go lower. And that probably isn't going to change anything, but usually you can kind of mess with these and move them around a little bit. And they'll eventually come towards you more. If you do the burns, like, so you don't have to wait so long to do the burn. Yeah, I think we're probably going to end up having to wait, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm going to do the inclination burn, and then basically afterwards, uh, I think that will be the end of the episode. This is another planet I'd really love to go to, and a lot of people say that it's hard to do, and I'd really love to go to it anyways. I'm probably going to end up eventually go, but I just need to figure out when and all that good stuff. And I think we are away from Kerbin and all that other good stuff, so... I just love this though, it's still, it's just like a big, massive blob of stuff. There's nothing better than uh, seeing your creations floating around everywhere. Eventually, if, if they don't end up creating an update that like basically destroys all your work in the game, this system is going to be like jam-packed full of stuff, it's going to be like the most silly looking thing ever so I think 1% isn't or point 0.1 isn't really gonna affect it so much but I could be mistaken I was wrong once but I was mistaken um yeah there we go I thought that this thing was dead for a second. I was like, no, I just recorded this whole episode and it's dead. Um, yeah, I've done that before too. I, I actually shot with one of these, uh, the jewel, or not the jewel ones, but the, uh, when I created the Duna Explorer and the Eve Explorer, I, I shot the episode, and then a few of them I actually killed the rovers because I ended up not opening up their solar panels or anything. As soon as like I did, as soon as they got into space, basically, because I didn't really think of that on launch. You would, you know, like once you got into orbit, the the battery is ticking. You know, it's like your time is ticking. So let's set up this burn right here. I don't really, once you're in the, this far out in space, it really doesn't matter, you know, it, not to mention, um, it doesn't really matter when it comes to, you know, fixing a lot of these things, so, it, the amount of time it takes and everything else, it just, you know, like, starting the burn here compared to here, here compared to here isn't really going to change so much, so. After this insane amount of burn that I have to do, I will be continuing to the next episode in this satellite series. And somebody decided that honking their horn is a great thing to do. Yeah, annoying. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are really liking the jewel explorers and stuff that I've created, the jewel carrier. I will be, I'm still working on it. I still gotta refuel it and you know maybe I'll show one refueling mission or maybe my last refueling mission where I don't have to refill anything really and it you know it's just gonna be the very end of the refueling portion of that ship and then I have to do the um, the tugging to get it out get the uh, the orbit out really far to where it's not that big of a deal if I uh, end up you know launching from there compared to low curve in orbit but yeah this um this little satellite's actually kind of faring through a lot but I'm, I'm not really 
100% happy with satellites. You know, I'd rather do manned missions. That's always kind of been my thing, is manned missions. It's always fun to do a manned mission. Rah. So, yeah. Uh, there's not much to say, you know. I can... You know, I, I showed you guys how to construct the satellite, what I used. I did change something. I added four of these instead of two. The, um... Whatever, the radio stope, thermo, whatever thing it is. Oh man, we're almost set up here. Let's see. That's amazing. The only thing I can hope is that now I can set up a... Now I should be able to set up a, like, a burn... And uh, it should be able to get all the way there, I hope. It's going to be mostly the solar panels, so we'll see what the solar panels can really do. Let's see what this looks like. All right. Some more over here. Oh, how you doing? Ooh, wow, this thing looks like it's going to be really hard to get to. Oh. Yeah, I never really have a problem setting up. Wow. I never really have that big of a problem setting up my um, burns, but, you know, my first initial one to get there is always, like, really crazy because I never really know how to set it up good. So... Or should I say well but anyways guys um you know if you guys have Twitter check out my Twitter and you know you know become the subscriber or whatever and follow me on Twitter and on Facebook um, I'm always posting the new updates for when my videos come out and uh, yeah I will see you next time <laughs>